Well, hello everyone. It's Brad and Robert with our Clarity Clip of the Week, and we're going to introduce a series today, uh, kind of the three things we see a lot kind of wrapping up the year. We saw a lot in 2016, and one of those is, you know, the three-part series we're going to start with is objectives, you know, online marketing, social media objectives. Um, the second piece is this ROI issue that always comes up when you're talking uh, about social media or online marketing, and then all of these experts. There's one on every corner, right, Robert? Yeah, and now we're on location today in your new uh, pick em up truck, as we see. Yeah, here out, out in the pickup truck, uh, because one of the things when you think about a social media, online marketing, the first thing that you should do is figure out what it is you want to do. Where What's, are you going? Yeah, where are you going? What's the objective of why you've decided to get involved in this social media or change? There's always an objective. There should be an objective and a strategy. When you go to the grocery store, what do you do? Make a list. Make a list. When you plan a vacation, what do you do? You spend hours online looking, finding right. spots to go and everything. Yet we run into numerous, numerous businesses all the time. And they don't have a written strategy or an objective of why they're doing all this stuff. Yet when they started the business, they had a business plan. <laughs> but there is no marketing plan. Certainly no digital or social media marketing. Right. but And it just doesn't make any sense. A simple task of going to the grocery store. We get in our vehicles, like we are today, mm -hmm. and we go from point A to point B. We know how to get there. There might be 14 right. different ways to get to the grocery store. We have our favorite path. So there has to be an objective on what is point B in my social media and online. How do I get there? It's not going to be a straight road. It's going to be it's going to be curvy, right? You're going to have to take mm -hmm. some right turns, left turns. You're going to have to back up. You're going to have to start over. But there's an, there should be an objective. Heck, we have mapping systems in Pretty much any vehicle now has navigation. And what does that help you do? Get from point A to point B. And sometimes it doesn't give you the best route, which in, in our world, you have to experiment. You have to say, well, maybe we're going to try a different route or a different objective. we got to change the destination. Yeah, load in the roadblocks in the traffic right on the map yeah. because it's going to happen. So know where those are and be beware of that and know that you're going to have to back up. In, in football, you call it at halftime, you make adjustments. It's going to happen. Yeah. And one of the problems that we see is that even when you we, we get clients to get a plan, if we're coaching them, you got to start the trip. <laughs> you got to put it in drive, they, right? They sit there frozen <laughs> at the wheel. You you got you just have to do it. Yeah, and and the other thing to be to be cognizant of is don't hand your brand over to someone in a cube because they're under 30 and you think they understand all this stuff cuz they grew up with it. And that's not being yeah. offensive to any. I'm not trying to critic. It's just we see that a lot and all the problems that come with that. You know, we have a little saying, do you want to be cute, clever, you know, in social or do you want to be calm? You know, those are kind of the three C's that we talk about, cute, clever, and calm. And you have to pick one of those in your objective and then put it in drive and, and move forward. And so we start with an online branding session about who are you going to be online? And that really kind of in part becomes the the starting point of the map. Right. I mean, uh, our brainstorming session, and we encourage you guys to do it as well with your own staff or, or whoever is, you have to know who you are. If you don't know who you are, how are you going to talk to your audience? And then the second thing is, who's your audience? And who are you trying to be? And right. who are you trying to target? Are you going to be a salesy? Are you going to be more connection? You know, we're all about conversation marketing. We're all about driving the conversation online, connecting with clients to eventually convert the clients. And there is a different way of talking depending on what that conversation is that you want to get started. There's a different language yeah. for each of the audiences. There's a different language for each of the platforms. Your Twitter yeah. following probably doesn't look exactly like your Facebook and your Instagram and Pinterest. And obviously mm -hmm. Snapchat's going to be different. YouTube's going to be different. So there's even languages within the platforms. Yeah, and also you got to think about there are multiple destinations in terms of what your objectives are. Sure. Uh, but, on each of the platforms. Uh -huh. And as you're on your way to those objectives, uh, just like when you're out on a trip, uh, well, how many miles are we going? Mm -hmm. oh, hey, Dad, are we there yet? You know, <laughs> Where's the next Bucky's? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, right. you've got to be measuring along the way of, you know, how are we getting to this objective? And then, you know, kind of once you're there, now what's happening? Right. And then that's that's the critical piece is what's happening once you've outlined that objective and then what's the next yeah. steps? And the, kind of the reason we're, we're talking so much about this is that we see this everywhere. Nobody's got a plan. Nobody has got a strategy. And for some reason, 
everybody's gotten the notion of just seeing people do Facebook that, well, you just post. You just post stuff. Yeah, and I think the, the critical thing is they say, well, we know we need to be doing it, so we just started mm -hmm. something. And I know I need a website, or I'm going to change my website because yeah. it's not mobile friendly, so I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to do all these things to it. And they never take a step back and figure out, well, what is it that the website yeah. needs to be doing? Yeah, so. and, and, and posting up a picture of your friends or your family around the table uh, during a holiday or on vacation is a way different thing into, uh, than when you start doing that for a brand, telling Absolutely. a brand story. Absolutely. There can be pieces of that as your brand, as your brand family, yeah. et cetera. There can be pieces of that, but without that written objective, without you taking a step back and really kind of understanding what it is you want to do, then you never know if that stuff's going to work. So we're going to start kind of addressing some of those. And next week, we're going to talk a little bit about this ROI question. That's Clarity Clip, guys. We'll see you next week. Thank you.